So this is a Luna Venus 462. Going to take you around the van and show you how it operates. Front of the van, you've got your jockey wheel, um, handbrake and hitch. This is all stuff we'll go through in person on site with you. Front locker, you've got your gas bottle. If you've got a gas barbecue at home, and you'll uh, recognise the valve on top. Gas on and gas off, depending on which way you turn it. Pipe work coming up to the uh, to the bulkhead. Reverse thread fitting on the pipe work from the bottle to the uh, gas pipe itself. And then also in the front locker, you've got your water pump for the caravan. Side of the van, trimmer heating vent, your gas vents, should I say. And then you've got your wind down legs on either side of the front. Water pump connection, filter and shower connection. It's only the water, uh, the shower, uh, the water pump sorry, we're going to go through. So you pull the blue trigger back to place it inside the van. Push it in and lock it into the side of the van. The water pump end down there on the floor is what you drop into the act roll itself. Down the side of the van, you've got your battery box and your uh, 240 volt lead coming into the caravan. Um, so the 240 power is what you connect to on site and then your battery runs a 12 volt lighting etc on the van. Motor mover and the wheel nuts. The motor mover will go through here on site with you and we'll talk the wheel nuts before you leave. You've got your fridge vents on the side to allow the hot air out the heating system, uh, the fridge system. Grey waste pipes is where your waste water comes out the side of the van. Grey pipes will push in the side of the van um, and connect up into those. On the top here at the back, you've got the toilet flush tank, so you'll need to fill, open this up and fill it with three and a half litres of water and a cap full of the pink fluid prior to using the toilet facilities. And in the locker at the bottom, you've got your toilet cassette itself, orange handle at the bottom, pull the uh, cassette towards you, and that'll allow you to re release the cassette from the locker itself. On the back, you've got a pressure relief, orange pressure relief button, so when you tip in the waste away, out of the turnout neck that's on the cassette, you'll be able to uh, empty the waste out and not get it spit and splattered back all over you. Before you use that toilet cassette, you'll need to put one litre of water in and a capful of the blue fluid. And on the rear of the caravan, you've got your wind down legs on either side at the back. The lights will go through and connect to your car. And then you've got your other wind down leg on this side of the van also. Now when you go inside of the van, above your head as you walk in, you're gonna find heating and hot water control panels, just to the right. And then your main control panel for the caravan is here. So power on, interior light, awning light, leisure battery voltage at the bottom, and your water pump run for the water pump and vehicle leisure, uh, vehicle battery power coming through into the caravan on this button here. At the moment, we're not connected to a car, so anything I talk about that's 12 volt related from the car, I won't be able to demonstrate to you at the moment, um, but that's something I will talk you through and how it works, and then we'll, uh, then you can always try it when you hook up to your car on site. The first thing you wanna do is get your heating hot water control panel on. Heating hot water control panel on. I had to reset it there, hence why the video stopped. Um, so before you fill the water system, you're gonna connect your ACRO roll on the outside and your water pump. Come underneath the seat on the far side of the caravan. And just below the seat, the yellow valve that you can see just down there is the water drain down valve. Now, if that valve is, the yellow valve is parallel with the floor, the water system is ready to be filled. If it's pointing upright towards the bottom of the seat, then the water system has been drained down and you'll need to put that valve back parallel with the floor before you try and fill the system up on board the van. So, once you've got that valve in that position and your Acro roll connect on the outside, you can come to each tap on the caravan, open the tap up on the hot side, on the sink in the kitchen, the sink in the bathroom, the same, and then the sink on the shower, uh, tap on the shower as well. At the moment, I'm not gonna actually bleed the system because we haven't got any water connected. But like I said, you have open all the taps ready to bleed that water system down. So with all the taps open, come to the control panel above the door, hit the water pump switch just here, and it will start drawing the water from the act roll on the outside of the van. Now when the system's full, you'll have water running continuously out of each tap on the caravan and then you shut each tap off once the water is running continuously. Same in the bathroom, you'll go around, shut the taps off on the sink and shower also. Once you got to that point, you can start thinking about warming your water on board the van. But before you do that, you're gonna to have to select the power source you want to use to warm the water. So you're gonna press the middle button here, 
and it will take you into a control panel. Let me just get the screen to clear up. So here you've got your 230 volt, 230 volt uh, option at the top here, four amps, 230 volt, eight amp below, so you can select which one you want to use. Gas only, four amp and gas at the same time, and then eight amp and gas at the same time. So you select the most relevant one for the site you're on. At the moment, it's four amp on its own. So we hit the power set button, and that has set the control panel to run on that particular ampage. Now, if you want to turn the heating on, you can press the heating button on the end here. Up, down, or up with the arrows to set the temperature. And then when you're ready to set it, hit the set button in the middle. It'll bleep at you, and as you can see here, it's saying 25 degrees is the temperature we're going to warm the caravan up to. If you want to set your water temperature, you press the button on the end here, and you've either got off or on for your hot water. And again, it'll bleep to let you know you've turned your hot water on. Now, depending on what power source you've turned on here, will depend on how the caravan will heat up um, and the time it takes to warm up. So going to turn that back off for now so we're not trying to warm a tank up that potentially hasn't got much water in it. With the fridge on the opposite side of the van, very simple to use. Mains power is the first symbol you're going to come to, and temperature control on the right hand side. 12 volt from the car, you can put it onto the battery symbol just here, and that would be the 12 volt supply from the car when you connect it to it. At that point, the fridge will only work as a cool box, so the temperature control is irrelevant. It will not chill the fridge completely, it is just a cool box. To run the fridge on gas, spin the dial to the bottom, pressing the temperature button on the uh, on the right hand side of the fridge here and hit the igniter. When the fridge ignites on gas you'll notice the little red line here will come round into the green and uh, if it has completely ignited that little red bar will stay in the green and that is your pilot light for the fridge itself. And on gas or electric you can, or main should I say you control the temperature of the fridge on the dial in the centre here. Turn the fridge back off Set it back to the top position here, and that will isolate the power to the fridge. With the hob, uh, very simple to use. Turn the gas on in the front locker. Ignite as you would at home with the igniter on the front of the cooker. And then again, the same with the cooker below. The microwave on this particular caravan is a little bit different to some people have at home, but it's got an eco button on this one, so you actually need to press the button to get the microwave to wake up. And when you are traveling we do advise that you remove the microwave plate the microwave plate sorry from inside of the microwave so you just take it out and for instance on this van you've got a set of drawers at the front so you'd actually store that plate in them drawers just there and then check the back up um so like i said the eco button is to wake the microwave up when the screen has gone off last thing we're going to go through on this particular caravan is the toilet system in the bathroom Electric flush on top. Cassette full indicator, so the red light here will glow red when the toilet cassette is full. And at the bottom of the toilet, you've got a waste handle to open up the waste flap to allow the waste to go into the cassette under the van or in the side of the van. Now, one thing to remember with these toilet cassettes is, is never to use bleach on them as they will turn them yellow. We do advise you to use a non-bleach product for cleaning the toilets down in caravans. Um, if the flush uh, stops pumping any water at all, it will mean you need to fill up the cassette again on the out or the uh, flush tank on the outside of the caravan again. Everything else in the bathroom, taps, etc., all work like your household items. Now, if you have any further questions on the Luna Venus, please do give us a call here at the Caravan Company, and we'd be more than happy to help. Thank you very much. Bye bye.